Good morning, students. In continuation with the research methodology, I am going to cover the second topic that is objective of research and motivations in the research. Now, the research objective. These objectives can be, it may be journal or they may be the specific objective. Journal objectives, they state what the research expects to achieve overall. Well, when we talk about the specific objectives, we break our research into the small, small part and we try to identify the answer for each and every part. Now, what is the significance of the objectives in the research? And what are basically the, what are our objectives so that we decide to take a result? So, a well-defined objectives of the research are an essential component of successful research engagement. Here are some of the following objectives which are given below. First is to generate the new knowledge. Students, one and very important objective of taking up a research or taking up a project is that we want to generate a new knowledge. We want to develop a new concept. We want to develop, in your case, because you are the computer science student, in case of yourself, you want to develop a new software. Or you want to make some improvements in the already existing software. Now, the next objective may be to gain the familiarity or to develop a new insight in some phenomena. Some phenomena is already existing and you want to develop a new insight. So that is again a objective of the research. Then in continuation with that, the research objective may be to investigate some existing situation or problem or to construct or create a new procedure or a system. You may do certain additions in a problem or in a knowledge which is already existing. You may develop a new procedure. If for a particular concept or for a particular, you know, say for the example, for a particular product, if there is a manufacturing process, you want to improve that. That is again, you are developing an, or you are constructing a new asset, procedure to explore and analyze more general issues, to investigate some existing situations or problems that may also your objective of research or you want to test a hypothesis. Student, you have given a hypothesis and you want to prove whether your hypothesis is correct or not correct. So for that, you are supposed to do a research. Say for example, if we say, again I am giving the example of the COVID only. If we say that the Indian people, they have developed the resistance against the COVID. And if you say no, it is not correct. Then you have to do the research on that. You have to, you know, take the survey. You have to find out, you know, many uh, situations where you can support your hypothesis that no. Whatever you are saying is the correct. But for that, you have to do the survey, you have to conduct some experiments, and then only on the basis of the uh, results, you will analyze those results and you will reach to a conclusion. So, basically, the objectives of research is to create a new procedure or a system, or to investigate some existing situations, or to explore some general issues. Or you may also develop your own hypothesis, but to prove that hypothesis, you have to do the research. Now the question arises that what gives research to you? What motivates you to do the research? So first of all, to desire to get a research degree along with its consequential benefits. A student, when we do the PhD, when we are doing the MHC or we are going for the higher studies, most of the time the research projects are involved there. 
so if we go for a higher degree like the phd what is our motive that we know that what are the benefits that we will be getting once we are obtained a phd degree secondly if you are not very much interested in degree but you are a person who like to face the challenges then also you can take up a research desire to face the challenges in solving the unsolved problems or that is concerned over the practical problem and then you can initiate the research you may be also interested to get intellectual joy for doing some creative work many of the students they want to because to you know satisfy their curiosity they want to do the search of a new knowledge of a new concept desire to be service to society now you may also do the research by which the society is going to be benefited and definitely if you are a good researcher if you have done something good for the society you will get the respect in return and these are some motivational things that motivates you to do the research so thank you so much students